Okay, hello. I'm back making another video. This video is going to be pretty simple. It is um going to be increasing your FPS in games and reducing lag or stutter or anything. Now, this isn't anything like super crazy. We're not installing anything. We're just doing stuff inside of Windows itself, so we're not going to be installing any programs or anything like that. Uh, everything is safe here, and if you do not feel comfortable doing this or you feel scared you could always create a restore point if you don't know how to do that just search up a t tutorial basically it's a point you could fall back on if you mess something up in here which I don't really think is possible but you know it's a possibility anyways so the first thing we're gonna want to do is go into task manager so you go right down here on your taskbar and you uh, right click right click click task manager then your task manager might be like this. We uh, just click more details. Go over into startup, and over here you should have a bunch of apps, and uh, they'll say status, and they'll say either enabled or disabled. And what this does is by disabling some of the apps, it increases your boot time and clear up some RAM in the background. So you could disable whatever you want, like. Uh, Creative Cloud, I don't need that starting up. I don't need Discord starting up, that's just annoying. Uh, Radeon Settings, you don't need that. Uh, Vanguard, that's uh, what? Valorant stuff. Windows Security Notification, that's just annoying. So you, you could disable that. And it even shows uh, startup impacts on some of the sides. So it says for all of these, it says no startup impact. But it's still nice to not have stuff popping up. And this will even though it says startup impact is none it will still start up and take a ram in the background so that's it for the first step second step we're going to want to go to system configuration so go into the search bar type in oops what's happening okay type in system configuration will be right here and what, basically what we're doing in this is we're going to be removing some tasks that run in the background so it frees up some RAM uh, more RAM in game uh, to use in game is usually better so what, what you could do is uh, click hide all Microsoft services because you don't want to stop something important that uh, Microsoft uh, Windows is using so just click that hide all Microsoft services and then you could go through here and um, uncheck some stuff so let's see Adobe update service I don't need that running AMD crash defender service I don't know what that is so I'll just leave it here um, Asus update service Asus Nearlink, Asus remote I uh, unchecked those and I left those um, see we have DTS that's my audio stuff I leave that on in the background um, let's see something I could just okay for, for, for example let's say this is checked um, what you would do is click this uncheck mark click apply click OK and then you're done so that's how you this actually um my RAM usage was at around 30% on idle and now if you go back into your task manager after doing what I did um, you can see it's 20 21% that's because I have OBS on but normally without OBS and anything idling it's a uh, 19% so that's about a 10% reduce in memory usage and keep in mind I have 16 gigabytes of RAM so that's quite a lot that was using around what 5 gigabytes of RAM on idle just doing nothing so yeah definitely a good idea to remove some stuff here that you don't need um, if something doesn't work you always come back in here and check it back press ok that that would be that uh, yes yeah, say you may have to restart your computer after this uh, I do not need to restart it right now the next thing is um, this is probably the most important one so we're gonna be reducing if you go back to CPU um, sorry task manager click performance tab see our CPU it is my CPU is being utilized right now um, and so is my GPU because I'm recording with OBS but normally it would be around 2% utilization but when I first got this laptop it was actually using around uh, I think it was around 30 I'll even spike all the way up to 50% usage and what that will do if you're playing games stuff in the background are going to be utilizing your CPU and your CPU won't be fully utilized in the game instead it'll be 
utilizing some stuff in the background and that could lower FPS, it could lower performance. Also what it will do is it will increase heat because the more things running on your CPU will generate more heat. So right now it's at even 6-5% just using OBS that's still pretty good. Um, so yeah, it, the next one is Windows settings, very important. So all you have to do, press the Windows logo right here, press settings. Once you are in here, you can start at system. Something we could just quickly do is click on storage. You could turn on storage sense if you want. You could even remove some temporary files. Um, yeah, there's not, not too much in here that you could turn on or even battery too. You could remove um, battery saver, you could turn it off. It says turn battery saver on automatically at 50%. You could have this on if you guys really want it. I just click never because I don't want that. You could go back now. Personalization. There is some stuff you could actually do here. Obviously, you could choose uh, your back, your black, um, black uh, theme, dark mode, or whatever. But it's in colors right here. It says trans transparency effects. If you're in a super low end system, you could turn this off, and it'll uh, make your CPU usage a little less lower. Your RAM usage just make it feel a little bit more snappier. Most of the times, that won't actually do something. But if you're in a very low end system, it could make a difference. Anything makes a difference. Anything helps. Go to apps right here. Uh, this one's pretty important. So there's a bunch of pre-installed bloatware on Windows. You can't really remove all of them, but you can remove a good chunk of them. So what, what you want to do here is just go down and uninstall anything like Candy Crush, Skype. Um, any kind of useless stuff you don't use, remove it. Because trust me, it, it will still run in the background, it will take up space. So removing any of that could also help. Yeah, like Microsoft Photos, stuff like that. See if there's anything quickly here I could remove. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, nothing here I could really remove. I, I use all of these stuff. You could even go to Startup right here. This is the same as Task Manager like I just showed you. So yeah, you could remove all your stuff uh, that start up an impact, um, that make an impact on startup. So yeah, let's go back. Um, gaming, this one could make a difference or not. Xbox Game Bar, if you like use Xbox and you like talk to people, talk to your friends and make parties on uh, uh, with people through the Xbox and you're on PC, you could you could leave this on if you use it. Personally, I don't use it, so I leave it off. Captures you could um This doesn't really make a difference if you want to and it makes you puts you at a peace of mind You could turn all this stuff to the lowest like Instead of one hour put to 30 minutes turn this off turn it to 30 FPS just for ease of mind game mode um This I'm not sure if it really does make a difference uh, Maybe on super low end systems. It makes like one or two more FPS. You guys just have to test that out yourself Personally, I would just leave it off Okay, um, now we can go into privacy. This is the most important one. This is really what you want to be here for. So, first one, general. You usually have all of these checked on. You could just check these off. You don't want Windows giving you advertising stuff based on your app activity. It's basically just collecting your data. That's what that's what they're saying. You could turn off speech, inking, and personalization. You could turn this off. Diagnostics and feedback. You're going to want to uh, switch this to basic. Turn this off, turn off tailored experience, turn off view diagnostic data, and you could uh, delete your diagnostic data. You could even turn off the feed feedback frequency, turn it to never, because we do not want these. We do not want any, any kind of diagnostics or like any kind of data we can stop and prevent Microsoft from getting is the better. Goddamn bastards put too much bloatware and too much spyware inside of here. Uh, activity history. You could turn this off if you don't want other computers seeing what your activity has been. You can just switch this off for the accounts you're using. Okay. Um, location. You could turn this off. Camera. You, you're probably going to want to leave this off. Just switch it off manually for some apps you don't use because you're going to need camera. Uh, your camera to use like Discord or you know something microphone also just leave this on because you're gonna have to use your microphone 
if you do if you don't then I don't know I guess you could switch that off okay now we could switch off of all of these and we could go this is a very important one it's called background apps basically these are all it's all apps that will be running in the background and this makes a big impact on CPU usage and also RAM usage I literally uh, took off some of the background apps and my CPU usage spiked down so much so I actually leave two things running it's real tech audio and DTS uh, audio stuff because if I don't leave it on then the settings get reverted every time and I like to tune my audio to how I like it so I don't really care about those two things but you could just turn everything off like this or you could um just manually turn all the stuff off you don't want like Windows security game bar settings I leave real tech on Nvidia, my Asus, Minecraft. You, there's no point for these to just be running in the background if you don't need them, right? So that's about it for Windows settings. Now we can go to battery settings. This is also a very big one. Some people really just get their PC and they just leave it on balanced because that's what it usually comes out of from factory. So go over to your little battery icon. If you don't have a battery icon, you could just type in battery saver settings uh, shit or whatever we're just doing it this way hover over your battery icon right click it click power options once you're in here you'll get a bunch of power options um so what will normally be on is balanced and what you want to do is switch it um, if you're on a desktop, you just want to leave it on high performance all the time. If you're on a laptop, maybe you, you could switch it to high performance when you want to go game or you want to do something like Photoshop or Premiere. So you could switch power saving back on afterwards when you're done gaming to save some power. But for now, if you what you really want to do for gaming, switch it to high performance. You could just click this, show additional power plans. High performance should be here. But you want to click change plan settings because there's some settings we want to change in here. Click change advanced power settings. Once you're in here, a little thing will pop up. I'll put this in the center of the screen for you guys. Turn hard disk off. I just leave it to never because I don't want it to shut off. It's an SSD, right? I don't actually have a hard disk. Internet Explorer. Uh, all you want to do is just click these little plus pluses, right? Click that. Click this again. Java script. Turn this to maximum performance. You could either choose it like plugged in, you only want maximum performance, and on battery you want power saving. Maximum power saving is up to you. I leave it on maximum performance for all of them. Next thing, background, desktop, background settings. Slideshow. I want to put this on pause. I don't need a slideshow, right? Wireless adapter settings. This is a very important one. Power saving mode, click that. You want to click maximum performance. Not maximum power saving, maximum performance. Go over to PCI Express, press the power on the little plus, click the plus again. And it's going to be on maximum power savings. So you're going to want to switch it to off. Processor power management. Turn on your minimum processor state to, to 5%. System cooling policy, you want to active for both. So you get the coolest CPU you could get. You don't want your fans not running. Maximum processor state. Turn this to 100% for both of them. And also you'll, in some other YouTube tutorials, you'll see some people putting their minimum to 100%. You don't want your CPU running at 100% all the time. There's no point for that. That just creates excess heat. You know, you don't. And that will, will actually ruin your battery life even faster. So just leave it at 5%. You don't need your CPU running at 100% all the time. Next, if you have AMD, an AMD EPU, you click AMD Power Slider, Overlay, Best Performance, Switchable Dynamic Graphics, Global Settings, Maximum Performance, and then again, AMD Graphics Power Settings, AMD Maximum Performance. This only applies if you have an AMD uh, APU, which I do. So, okay, now we're done there. Sorry, uh, make sure this is checked by the way before you exit out of it. So make sure you are on high performance. Here we go. Next, um, this one is not 
as important, but it everything makes a difference when you really want to squeeze everything out of it is uh, the appearance of windows so what you want to do is just type in system and it says system control panel click on that click advanced system settings once you're in here go to the advanced tab performance click settings then click adjust for best performance and you could either leave it like this but i like to click uh tick off some stuff because i don't want windows completely looking like a shit box so you could click um show thumbnails instead of icons you want to see your thumbnails i think this is within your files i think and smooth edges of screen fonts and scroll uh smooth scroll list boxes that's what i like to apply show that click ok this should lower your cpu usage and ram usage again which could in turn result in more performance for your games so that was it for the optimization guides it's pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this and tell me down below if this actually made a difference or not because I know damn well that it made a difference for me. Alright, see you guys.